Now, smallholder women farmers in Abuja have called on the federal government to alleviate challenges they face during farming. Speaking at the FCT Smallholder Women Farmers Forum, which held recently in Abuja, they say some of the challenges, which include a lack of access to farmlands, inaccessible roads to their farmstead, lack of access to credit facilities and unavailable farm extension workers are affecting rural farming. They want the federal government to address these challenges in an effort to ensure food security. Our correspondent Amadin Uyi tells us more. Available estimates indicate that small-scale women farmers in Nigeria produce almost 70% of local food needs found almost 200 million in population. However, this demography of Nigerians continue to face several challenges which hamper their food production. Sometimes it's erosion, sometimes it's flood, like this year now, flood at most farms. Sometimes it's this uh, pest attack, army worm, all this uh, striga, they eat up. If striga enters your farm now, if it is corn that you plant, just forget it, the whole thing is lost. The whole farm has gone. You will even pick a grain from that farm. This year, we have lost a lot of things because of the season and this climate change. It has affected us seriously. For my farm, if you even come there, you, you will know my farm. Women, like we all know, in Africa, Nigeria in particular, have limited access to land. To solve some of these challenges, the FCT Small Scale Women Farmers of Nigeria, Swofon, held its annual forum to help create a bridge between local farmers in Abuja and government agencies saddled with the responsibility of catering for their needs. The forum was also an opportunity for farmers to learn about available government interventions. Women farmers gathered here today have been given the opportunity to interact with policy makers and other stakeholders in agriculture. We have been able to learn one or two things. One of those things we are able to get from the forum today is access to credit. So when they are able to partner, for example, to access subsidized loans where there are no collaterals, and they are able to impute, buy inputs or access machineries, gender-friendly machineries that improve their productivity. This automatically translates into better and improved increased yield and productivity on their farms, or whether it's poultry farming or livestock farming or fishery. And ultimately, it means that what, when they are able to increase productivity, they are also able to what, gain more access to finance, they are more economically empowered. There are agencies that me as a farmer, I've not met them before. I don't even know they're in existence. But when I come to this farmer's forum, I meet them, I learn what they have. There are agencies that government has established that they have intervention for farmers. And we don't know those things. We carry it on, on ourselves alone. But with this farmer's forum, like today's own, I've learned that I should insure my farm. If my farm is insured, if I have such problems, the government can come to my aid, at least to rescue me, so that I won't go blank. I will be able to continue with my farming activities. Some of the farmers used the opportunity to make several calls to government. What I want as an individual is not the amount of land that we farm. It should be the amount of yield per hectare. Some countries are doing seven to eight hectares of maize per hectare. Uh, eight tons of maize per hectare. We are still doing two to three, three to four as at the small scale level. So we are not getting the benefit of the land we are actually cultivating now. They should help us create access road. Also, if they can mount processing units around the farms, that most of our goods, you don't need to carry them from farm to market. You carry them to the processing plant, they buy. If I have rice padding of 10 bags, I can carry it to a rice processing unit. They buy it off and give me my money. Instead of stressing myself to go to market, sit down under the sun and be selling it. Amadin Uyi, Plus TV Africa.